Choke! I will touch it. I know you didn't touch it. Get over here. Don't touch it. Yeah. Touch. Oh, my God. Hold this. Why me, Mike? Mike, thank you. Take this up for you. There's a real big ball, you know, and it's got this big thing. Is that a year or something? No, it's your top score on pole position. Yes, it's a year, Chuck. Look, look it's, it's a map of our map. coastline. What's all that Spanish junk right there? Uh, who knows? Mouth, Mouth, you said you could translate. Translate, right here. Yeah, translate it. Ye intruders beware. Crushing death and grief. Soaked with blood of the trespassing thief. You guys, this map is old news. Everybody and their grandfather went looking for that when our parents were our age. I mean, I mean, haven't you ever heard of that guy? What, what's his name? The pirate guy. One-Eyed Willie. One-Eyed Willie. One-Eyed Willie. Yeah, he was the most famous pirate in his time. My dad told me all about him once. Dad'll do anything to get you to go to sleep. <laughs> no. See, One-Eyed Willie stole treasure once. He was full of rubies and and emeralds and diamonds. Diamonds. And then he loaded it all up onto a ship. And then they sailed away into the sunset until the British king, see, he found out about it. And then he set up this whole armada to go out after him. And then the armada, it took him a couple weeks, but then they caught up with Willie. And, and then there was a whole big war between the armada and Willie's ship, the Inferno. And th during the firefight, there was just guns bursting here and cannons bursting there. And then Willie fled, because he didn't want to stay around, because he knew he'd get killed if he stayed around. And then he got into this cave. And, the, and then the British, they, they blew up the walls all around him. And, and he got caved in. And he's been there ever since. Forever? Forever. And ever? Trapped. Wow. You sound just as corny as Dad does. My dad tells me the truth. You know what he said? What? He told me that one-eyed Willie and his bunch were down there for five, six years. And they were digging all these tunnels and caves, and setting booby traps. Booby traps. That's what I said, setting booby traps so that anybody that tried to get in there would die. And then you know what he did? He killed all of his men. Why? Why'd he kill all of them? Well, because he didn't want them to get to his treasure. Yeah, wait a minute, Mikey. But if he killed all his men, how did the map or the story get out? See, I asked my dad the same question. And he said one of the guys must have gotten out with the map and, hey, Mike, and the... Hey, Mikey, I believe you. Yeah, well, I don't believe you. I don't believe you at all. I think you're full of... I think you're... Chunk, you're not chunk, you chunk, chunk, chunk break you this doing? time, Chunk. Hey, you guys, look at it. Hey, you guys ever heard of this guy? Look, Chester Copperpot? Chester Copperpot. Look at this. Chester Copperpot, missing while in pursuit of local legend. Reclusive scavenger claims I have the key to one-eyed Willie. Wow, you guys realize what we could do? Nobody ever found nothing, you guys. I mean, why do you think this map would be up here in this attic when it could be in some safety deposit box somewhere, right? That's right. And anyway, if Chester Copperpot didn't find it, how would we find it? But what if, you guys, just what if this map could lead to one-eyed Willie's rich stuff? Maybe. Then we wouldn't have to leave the goondocks. Come on, hey, Mike. I don't want to go this. on any more of your crazy goonie adventures. Guys, come on, come on, where are you going? You don't want to do this? Sixteen thirty-two. 